What's going on guys, Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're up against Atalia. She took Flash and Teleport, is running First Strike. We just actually got invaded by their full team pretty much. We didn't get Vision on their Talia, but looks like our Sona had to Flash. This guy I'm a little worried about. So yeah, they uh, the enemy team comp is actually pretty solid. They have a Ivern jungle is going to be shielding and just in general harassing people. And then they have the split in Trindamir, which can go either way. We just actually came off the wind of a Trindamir who did really well on our team. And uh, the Vayne, Yumi, bot lane could go well. I mean, we have a heavy poke lane that's going up against them, but we'll see how it goes. Stona has no flash. So our lane, it's going to be a little rough early. Once we get our level 3, we can look to trade with Talia, but until then, she should just be able to poke us down and hard shove us in like this. I might just take my W first. Just so I can actually match her shove a little bit. Because she's just going to hard shove us in under the tower. And I want to be able to collect some of these farm. Good thing about like hard shoving mid laners into us is they leave themselves very open for ganks. We'll just sack the CS where we can. Try not to give her too much. I really can't do too much about that, brother. He's just going to have to go to his uh, enemy red. She's about to get level two. She's probably got her knockback. Like I said, I kind of want to wait till my level three to trade with her, especially since I know Ivern's in our bot side. I can't really look for anything too aggressive. Kind of sucks. I might look for a little trade here on her. Just get electric proc on her. She's actually super killable if uh, Udyr comes in. She doesn't have barrier or anything, so she's actually very killable. Udyr is actually super low. Not sure how he got so low. I kind of want to just try and force her flash here with my QW. I think she's baiting me here. Good stun by her. Might be able to kill here. Nice, got her flash. Um, yeah, pretty good. Not too bad. If I flash on top of her with my E soon, we should be able to kill her. She has no flash, so she's dead here. There we go. Nice. Looks like the Vayne did get first blood, which isn't great, but we got a nice little kill on our lane, so that's always good. We'll try to hard shove this. I don't think we'll be able to, but we'll get a good amount of CS and XP before she comes back into the lane. I can't stay too long because he's got a little bit of a buy there. I don't think she can kill me here. She rushed some magic resist. That's pretty soft. I cannot. And I really hope he doesn't contest that. Because I have to get a reset in here. Alright, we'll grab that, that, a control ward, and a sweeper. So not too bad. We got a nice little solo kill on our lane. Uh, top lane, nice. Our ribbon's doing really well. Got a big lead. I do want to ping both of this chick's sums, though. She should be extremely killable. Like, Talia is very immobile. It's going to be a little bit harder for me to kill her now that she has this uh, magic for this. It's a little annoying. I'm going to double E here just so I can get the cannon. I'll look for a trade on her here. Level W just to get an extra auto on her there. Nice. We chunked her really hard. If this guy comes, we should be able to kill. She might just get a reset in, though. I would get a reset in if I was her. Ooh, nice. He stops her. She's dead here, for sure. Yeah, she's toast here. Uh, I wish he would have given me that kill. Would have really helped me snowball. We might be able to just run straight down here and kill her. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to kill now. Nah, she's super healthy. And Yumi's, yeah, they might actually kill us here. I just have to do that so I can save my Udyr. I might be dead here myself, though. I can maybe look the Q out. Yeah. All right, we got their exhaust. It's actually not the worst, but this is going to be a miserable... No, dude. We definitely do not fight that. Yeah, it would have been really nice to get that kill from um, onto the Talia, Talia, what have you. 
But Udyr grabbed it up. I'm not sure about this boot choice, but whatever, to each their own. Hopefully they don't get dove down here. I could definitely see a dive happening onto the Caitlyn. Ooh, man. Stop moving. It's gonna cost me. I should be able to just kill this Thalia anytime I have my ult up. Nice, I got a shutdown on her. I think Talia's just gonna roam down there with her ult. Not much I can do, I'm stuck here in lane. She's coming down, and if she doesn't make anything happen there, she'll just... Yeah. I'm gonna just roam down here, though. I'm gonna start coming down. We fight this. I think they need to come down here. Yeah, these guys are totes. I'm just gonna ignite her. That guy should be dead to my fish and my poison. Ooh, he doesn't die to my poison. Sorry, right, I should be able to get him still here. I have my E coming up really soon. Ah, man, if it was just a little bit sooner, I would have been able to get him. It's all good. We should get the Drake off of that. I think our bot lane should probably come help us, but I do not think that they can contest this because Ivern was almost dead. I should have just finished the Ivern and then let them kill the Talia, but it's all good. We got a lot off of this. Kind of sucks that Sona got the shutdown onto the vein, but all in all, that was a really, really good fight for us. And my wave was shoving the whole time. All right, not too bad. Got a couple stacks on the Dark Seal here. I'm just gonna let this shove into me. Cause I don't have my ult, I don't have any summoner, so I want her to be extended in the lane. And then I'll probably just collect this wave under the tower and look to get a reset. Try not to take too much punishment from her here. This is going to be a little brutal right here. Nice. Dodge that without taking too much damage. I'm just going to get a reset in. She might be dead. Depending on what she does here. Ooh. I don't think we fight that, bro. But she's this guy's got to be careful, man. This Udyr is just being willy-nilly. I think he's still actually getting out-farmed by this. No, he's not. Alright, he's a little bit ahead of the Ivern. Alright, I'm gonna get a little reset in myself. Get a nice little buy off. Grab my Lost Chapter. I'm gonna grab that and then just start working into my Zhonya's right away. Alright, I have my ult up. I should be able to just kill her even... Oh, man, look at this. She's rushing a... Uh, I think what it's called, Banshee's Veil or whatever. Where she gets a spell shield. It's a pretty soft itemization. It makes sense. It definitely makes sense, but it's just soft. Ah, uh, I thought there was a chance I missed that cannon. She's got to be careful. Talia is definitely going to be coming up there. Yeah, there she is. Nah, I don't think they fight that. They're still down a number. They just need to let her do what she's going to do. She's going to have to TP back mid if she doesn't want to lose a whole wave and potentially plates. Honestly, I should have just looked bot right here instead of staying here to hit this tower. They have a ward here, so I don't think I can do anything in terms of roaming. But I can definitely pick that ward out. I have my ignite up, so if she gets skippy here, I can definitely... Oh, man, if I hit that ult... She would have died for sure. I want to look to trade with her, or at least zone her off of some of the minions. Wow, well, I'm surprised that actually hit me. Man, that's kind of a brutal poke right there. Um, She's doing pretty well. She's beating us in CS. If I hit that ult, though, she was dead. I really needed to hit that ult. She should still be... No, she's probably got her flash up. I don't know when the last time she was. She used it was. I would like to fight her. These guys gotta be careful. Because she's definitely looking for a roam onto them. It's really good by my team by backing off there instead of just staying there and pushing relentlessly. They're respecting the Talia roam. It's really good because she could have easily killed them with how far they were up against her. 
I want to just push her off and not let her farm for free. I have my ult in 16. I want to be pressuring her. Just look for a little trade. I might be able to bait her here. I'm just going to sit super far back. Yes, I see you, bro. I'm definitely going to attempt to do something here. Man, she's just... The way she weaves those is super hard for me to really, like, get her. I can maybe look for something. I kind of want to just QW on her. All right, got her flash. That's all him. Man, if I would hit my ult, we would have killed her multiple times over. But she has no stuns now. No flash, no ignite. Or TP, rather. We're only down 5 CS. If she didn't have this uh, magic resist, we would have already killed her. But definitely on me. I should be hitting these ults. I don't know. It, I think it's she gets movement speed on her worked ground. So I'm going to ping that she's missing because she could be looking to make a roam on someone from base. Yeah, if I'm hitting these alts, we're, we're getting multiple kills this game. So that's kind of on me. I should be three kills right now. No they got to be a bit careful. She's not in lane. She could definitely be looking to make a play on them. Yeah, with Ivern shadowing, it makes me think that maybe Talia is looking for a roam on him too. Because why? Like Talia is super fast, so she should be like back in lane well by then. I'm just looking around with my sweeper, seeing if I can potentially make a roam here. We just saw Ivern there. I gotta go this way. I can't walk out that way. I just have to hop over the wall here. These guys definitely don't need to be fighting here. I don't even know why they're positioned there. Might be able to catch one of them, though, here. Yeah, we kill one here. Alright, we got the... Leah, but... I want to kill this thing. I don't think we kill this. Actually, I got exhausted, so... I might be able to. It's going to be close. Ah, if I didn't get slowed right there... We just got to bail out of this. They have too much shielding right now. No, we don't fight that for sure. These guys just need to back and reset. If I had ult, we could do that. Or if I didn't get exhausted, we could have done it too. But I can stay and collect this. This farm for sure. They're gonna just sit they're probably just gonna go for the Drake. And we can't really contest it. I want to stay for my twelve hundred. I think if she respawns, we go for this. I think we should be going for this. Nice. This ribbon is hard popping off. Kalia's kind of just running around dying. Now this is a little sketchy. We need our team for sure to be here with us if we're going to attempt to take this. Because their, their bot lane and their jungler is going to be coming back off of a fresh buy. I have alt in five, so... If they do come, we should be good. I want to grab some health, though, for mana mainly. For this little fruit for the mana. All right, we're second Drakes. That's massive. Really good late game insurance. I'm going to E this. Nice. All right, I have enough for my Luden, so I'm just going to go quick back in here. I could stay and try to look for a fish ignite play and kill her. But I'm just going to go ahead and back for my Ludens. The massive power spike, so. What is she? Man, she's playing. Like, her itemization is so weird. She rushed this, and now she's going into her Ludens. Yeah, it's just a weird, weird build path. I think we kill. Yeah, she's toast this time. Maybe not. Actually, she might kill me here. She had so much magic for this, man. That wasn't even worth for me to go. Or I'll be honest, because if I die there, I think I had a shutdown, and she was only worth 170. And I used my ignite and my alt for it. So, all in all, probably not worth it. I get to get a little pressure in the lane, but that's about it. I can do some sweeping, maybe D ward. But I can't really even push this wave here because I'm a little afraid Trindomir's not showing, and neither is Ivern. So, they might be on Rift Herald or something. I don't know. I just have to wait around for this next wave to come and then get that next wave i can't really afford to step up and auto the tower all right we'll shove out this wave nice no one's down in our bot lane so i was afraid they might be in trouble there 
Looks like they might be setting up a dive. I would love to go down there, but I'm half health. I don't even think that's worth it. I'm going to come over here, though. Uh, I don't think... If she gets killed there, she's given over a massive shutdown. Yeah, that was a little bit of a weird play by her. I have to stay now, even though I wanted to back and get my resources. Ooh, that's really... I'm just going to halt this guy. I might be dead still. Yeah, man, that sucks. If I didn't stay there, I would not have died. But I had to stay because she was inting under the tower. Mm, that's really unlucky. And she's dead here now, too. And they're all just sitting under our tower right here as they're killing us under here. A little bit of an unfortunate series of events. Now they're just going to five-man dive us here. We have ult with Sona, though. I'm going to try and run down straight down here, but I don't think I'll be able to do too much. Pretty unlucky, this Ribbon. I don't know. She's doing really well overall this game, but that attempted dive with no minions under the tower really screwed both of us. She ended up giving over her shutdown, and so did I. Because I stayed to try and make sure that she didn't get killed by Talia. And it just snowballed into Trindamir killing me as well. I should have just left her, to be honest. But you live and you learn, boys. I'm kind of in a weird spot right here where I can't step up to go farm. But I, like, have to get something. Um, We can maybe make something happen here. We're outnumbered here. We can't fight this because these two are here in Trindamir. Well, Trindamir's down there, so maybe. But we would need Riven to help us. She'd have to participate. These guys have all the towers. That's the only bad thing. We have good, like, drakes. We have, we're stacking drakes, but we don't have any towers. Just the top lane. Which isn't super great. Like, that's good for bearing control, but... We need great control. All right, she's drawing Ivern and, I think, the uh, enemy bot lane as well. So I want to shove this. Yeah, she's got Bane in them there, too. Trinomir is looking like he might come up here to me. Yeah, he's rotating to me right now. The good Herald take by this guy, but I think we need to prep for this. Yeah, there's Trinomir. Right on schedule. Don't think I can really do anything to him 1v1. Even though he's really not that strong, he's still stronger than me. He'll just press his ult and auto me to death. He's gonna try and clear this wave. And get ready for this Drake. Hopefully our bot lane doesn't extend and die there. Because this Drake is a massive, massive objective. And she, they do just that. That tower that they're gonna get to isn't even worth it. Like, they get the tower, but we're going to give over a Drake. Which, if we took this Drake, it would have been sole point for us. I kind of want to contest this right here. She needs to ult her immediately. I'm going to ignite. Man, I got a flash on her just to try and get some autos on her. We should be able to kill. Yeah, we should be able to get multiple kills here. All right, we turned that around for ourselves big time. We need to just do the Drake. Going on to that vein and then getting the kills, like, snowballing on was so big because if, if they collapse on Caitlyn and just, like, kick us off one by one, that could have been game ending. But it's really well for us. We set up for Infernal Soul and we killed the vein too. It's all mental too, as well. Like, we did some mental damage there to him. All right, our team's playing really well. The only mistake we've had all game, I feel like, was trying to save that ribbon. And Ribbon's playing really well, too. Like, I don't want to just judge her based off of that one mistake she made. Because she was feeling herself. We've all been there. She's honestly soaking up so much pressure and doing so much around the map. I honestly... I'm going to keep pushing... Ah, uh, Talia, Talia showed up. That was really bad. I needed to either reset or actually, like, fight her. All right, we'll grab that. Grab that. We're looking pretty good here. I would love to just sit down in this side lane, but see how often my team's fighting? I have to be around them. 
and make plays. We need this guy to start posturing up here too. Should all be at this fight. Nice. This ribbon is going off, man. We love it. Love to see it. We can just siege here. We have a we have a wave and we just need to hit the tower. I want to keep Talia from just rotating over here for free. I'm going to come to this because I think we can probably look for a fish onto this guy. Potentially kill him. Nice. We'll kill her too. Even better. And we'll kill her too. Wow. Went amazingly. I think we should just do Baron, honestly. We just go Baron, right? Oh, no. He's got the Herald, so we can take this Inhib and then maybe do Baron. I definitely think Baron's on the card on the table, though. They're still down for 11 seconds. We go Baron here. We just run right to it as four. The only bad part about doing the Baron now is yes, we have that inhibitor down, but we have Riven bot lane, and their whole team is about to be back up. I actually don't think we can do this now. I don't think we can do it. Uh, this is this is a little sketchy here. Yeah, they're all coming. We can't do this. We can't, we can't, we can't. We can't do it, we can't do it. They're going to come fight us as five. That would be where we throw the game. We just let Riven pressure now because they can't take Baron. We let Riven pressure. We all back and get our resets off. Actually, I can't. I need like 50 more gold before I can actually reset. Hopefully she doesn't overstay there and die. But she might just kill the Trindomir. He did use his ult. Nah, they're all there. She'll probably go down there, but I think her thinking was she thought we'd get Baron. At least it went over to Talia, so that's good. She's their weakest member. She's getting strong, though, and she will scale really well into the game. All right, we'll grab our Tanyas there, grab a pink ward, and we'll just try to get vision around Baron here. I think this is the win con. If we get Infernal Soul... Oh, my goodness. That was so grief. I was just trying to swap my... Uh, we'll hit him with a little oopsies. Yeah, I was just trying to swap my item... The one to the one key i think if we get this soul though we just win the game all right let's come over here throw some vision down throw that there hit that see if they have any vision themselves i would love to take this out but someone just put this because that's a very fresh ward but i'm still gonna attempt to take it out here it's super big that we deny all vision from them i mean i think we could take it now i think we could take it now we need Riven and this guy, though. He's She's resetting. They have a mid lane to catch. I think we do this. I'm just going to pop my pot. Yeah, because we got Trinomir bot lane. I'm going to pop my pots. I'm actually going to come play defense here. Nice. Even me doing this is still going to keep this guy from coming here. I'm just going to flash right away because I want to stay alive because I need to make sure I don't die for this uh, Infernal fight. I really think Riven needs to come pressure this soul with us. This is soul point. It's such a big objective. We need to be here. If we die right here, this is really bad. We, we cannot die before this dragon fight. Um, yeah, we just got to pressure around this. I have ult and seven. We got to go. We got to fight this. Because Riven's about to be killed. I'm just going to all in her right now and Zanya's. Kind of have to go on this. She's going to get killed. Or he's going to get killed, rather, by her. I think we'll all die here. We're all we're not focusing her at all, which is really bad. Yeah. I'm not sure what that was at all. Like none of us focused the vein. Like she has to die. We really needed to just go in on her when she was stuck in this channel. Cause he Riven drew two people up here. I'm not sure what Sona's doing. She still has her ult up. A little unlucky. That's a massive throw, though. We had Baron. Ideally, we would have liked Riven to just be with us for the soul point. We 
pressure five here, let whoever, whatever, Trindamir do whatever. We have an inhib here. The correct macro play would be to five man this Drake and then fight them if they come. But yeah, Riven kind of went top and she did really well drawing two people, but we just had no follow up by our bot lane. Like this chick has to die in the fights. And for some reason, our bot lane wasn't able to 2v1 their Ivern, who's running full support Ivern, not even tank Ivern. I'm gonna come grab this red because this Caitlyn is not, she ain't the play. I would love to just sit in the side lane and soak some farm, but I have to be with my team. That's such a massive wave down there in the bot lane, too. Man, yeah, look, Talia's doing a lot of damage now. We can maybe make a play here. The Vayne has to die, though. Looking for the Vayne. Just gonna go back onto this guy. I get the kill onto him, but he got two kills onto us, and Bane will probably just kill everyone else. You have slain an enemy. Yeah, not the greatest. I think they can probably just siege here, too. I want to kind of try and pull this Vayne away from Udyr, but she's probably just going to kill him. Yeah, if they scale up, like, this game is going to be almost impossible for us to win. Because they got Ivern Shields and Yumi Shields. No going to be a tough one for sure. And honestly, their whole team is starting to scale, so... We needed to really end this off of that Infernal Soul. I don't know if they have Vision or anything either. They should all be sitting on a lot of gold. But yeah, I'm not sure. This is going to be a very tough game to win. We can definitely win. It's just going to be almost impossible to kill the Vayne if they're grouped. These guys have to not just push down mid. They'll just get engaged on and killed. That Wit's End is going to make it so hard for me to do anything against the Vayne. Because not only does she have the shields and everything else, she's got the freaking magic resist from the wits in. Yeah, what are you doing, Sona? Chill, bro. Like, you're not going to get any damage worth of anything. And it hit him a couple times, he's just going to spin on you and kill you. Talia is actually ahead of me now at this point. Because we've just been running around trying to help our team. We have been sacking a lot of XP and gold. Because we're sharing it with our team. That uh, Infernal fight may have been the death of us here. We really needed to get that Infernal Soul to win the game. They could just engage on us here because this guy, we're not four. I don't know about that one, Riven. No, they have five people here. We, we don't have... Our team. This is super sketched by the ribbon here. Mm, yeah, we're just all all over the place here. Does he have his ult? He does. She's gonna die here to this chick, or I'm going to. We got the knock up on her. We might, we just have to CC chain her and kill her. Nice. It's actually massive. I think we just end. I think we just end. I think we just end right here. We have 25 seconds. We have a wave and we have Caitlyn. We should be able to do this. It's going to be very close. <laughs> 16 seconds on Ivern. I'm going to tank a couple shots for the minions. But we should be able to win this. 8 seconds left. Alright, boys. There it is. Fizz mid versus Kalia. We find we actually managed to pull it out against that super fed vein. All right, not too bad, boys. We'll take you to the after action after this. All right, guys, it's the after action for the game we just played against that Talia mid. 
um yeah overall this game went really well um i want to give a big shout out to this riven uh honestly she hard carried this game not only in her damage but her macro she had a couple couple mishaps here and there but um yeah overall she did really well she created so much like pressure for us throughout the whole throughout the whole game honestly she hard smashed her lane multiple times she drew two three people and you know even if she she died like she still the, the pressure she soaked was really good so i want to give a big shout out to this this chick um has a youtube channel i'm actually going to check this out afterwards um our jungler did really well i feel like we did super well in lane uh got a couple kills and honestly we should have two more kills that i know for sure i missed two sharks on her early in the laning phase that would have both been kills so you know we have some improvement to do um yeah other than that our only mistakes as a team i think were two was we didn't grab the infernal soul when we could have uh ribbon went top lane but to be honest not her fault she drew two people so we had a 3v4 down there in that at that dragon pit we were just very unorganized and yeah we, we just couldn't get on the bane she ended up slowly picking us off one by one and our bot lane i guess lost the fight to ivern 2v1 but yeah our team did really well this this a, a freaking uh bane if it wasn't for her their team would have been in sh complete shambles so we give a little shout out to her too she did really well um but yeah overall very good game um finally hit above that 50 percent win rate and yeah we're sitting at emerald three we actually i had to dodge a game before this game um because my i had like a was a Casio bot with a fiddlestick support and a Quinn top and a, like a really weird jungle pick too. It was a, it was a troll team. Like everyone was picking troll picks to try and get someone to dodge. No one dodged. So I dodged at the last second. We lost five LP or else we'd be at 76 LP and we're getting around 26 LP a win. So we're going to need two more wins to rank up. Whereas if I didn't dodge that last game, uh, the next win would have actually put us in Emerald too, but we're all good. We're sitting on a nice little, um three game win streak right now and i think out of our let's see out of our last one two three four five six seven eight games we've went seven and one so you cannot be upset with that at all but all right guys yeah if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you enjoy our content hit a sub it really does help us helps us push out the videos to everyone else get us more exposed and uh yeah if you guys like it stick around for more content